since this is a, a regularly called meeting, if there's anything you want to add to or pull off to discuss, we can. If none, Ben, I need a motion to approve the agenda. I'll make a motion. All right, we have a motion to approve the agenda. I second. And a second. Any more comments? All in favor? Motion carries. All right. Recognition. Mr. Southern. Everybody hear me? Yes? All right. We have several recognitions to make tonight. As you can see, so many that we had to have a new location for tonight's board meeting. Obviously, this wasn't going to be able to happen if we tried to have it in the boardroom. Everybody would be out in the hallways and in the parking lots. But we wanted to recognize all these students for their accomplishments and for their achievements at this time, and that's why we had to be in here in the cafeteria. We're going to recognize tonight students from the regional academic competition. We're also going to recognize students that participated in the state beta competition and then as well as some um, art conservation writing and art projects as well. So we got three different groups we're going to recognize. You can see we have several students so just bear with me. Uh, we'll, we'll kind of go in order when I call the students name if you're here if you'll come up I'd like to present you with your certificate and if your parents or whoever is with you, if they want to get a picture of us presenting that to you, we'll do that right here in front of this backdrop. And then if there's multiple winners or recognitions from a given school, I have you wait till the side after we do the individual photo and then we'll do a school photo together, okay? And if no one objects, then we'll put all these on Facebook tomorrow with their names and, and what they achieved or what they accomplished if everybody's okay with that. We'll begin, just bear with us, we have quite a few. Up first, we're going to look at the academic team for the regional meet. And I have a student from Beaverdam Elementary. Asher Alvey was first place in composition at that regional meet. Asher, are you here? Placing fourth in math is John Moxley. Is John with us? Congratulations, John. Good job. Get your mom here. That way we get your picture. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good job. Elementary. <laughs> Up first, we would like to recognize Chaz Bernard. Is that correct? Fifth place math. <laughs> if I mispronounce your name, when you get up here, tell me and I'll make that correction, okay? Got to say it correctly, Chaz. right over here to the side. That way once the rest of your uh, first branch students finish, we'll get a group photo for Mr. Swift. Finishing fifth place in Arts and Humanities, Samantha Jones. Third place, 
Arts and Humanities, Andrew Whiteley. Did I get that right, Andrew? in language arts. So, <laughs> that way we'll put uh, all of you guys on the same photo, okay? Just hold your certificates up there. Right, somebody wants more pictures, hop back here. Thank you guys. Have one from Southern Elementary, fifth place, language arts, Sophie Hines. Wayland Elementary, finishing fifth in science, is Adeline Leach. in written composition, Liz Stewart. in social studies is J.C. Reed. overall in fifth place and they're already up here but one of those participants was JC Reed another team member is Liz Stewart also on the team is Abby Easterling On that team is Katie Duncan. Applause 
Also on that team, and I'm going to apologize right now if I mess up your name, okay? You have to correct me. Malika Smith. Malika? Malachi. Malachi, thank you. Malachi Smith, not here? <laughs> the last member of that quick recall team is Mr. Jaden Ball. Jake here? Southern Elementary. I have a little bit here to read. I'll read about it and then I'll tell you who's coming up. So Southern Elementary Schools Beta Club qualified at the State Beta Leadership Summit to compete in Lead Outside the Box Challenge at the national level. This is a club event. However, the students who presented our club's project that were at the summit were Sophie Hines. Yes, you will stand right over here to the side. I'll get the rest of your teammates up here. Audrey Greenwell.
going to the national level for this event. Sophie is going to attend, Audrey is going, Riley is going. Also going to uh, present at the national level is Mr. Landon Davis. assessment was Miss Keeley Westerfield. Now Keely, didn't you just recently represent the district in something else? And what was that? This was our district spelling bee champ right here. She just participated not too long ago in the state. Thank <laughs> you. 
and down.
from Ohio County High School, and a couple of them were not able to be with us tonight because they're participating in other activities, but I want to mention them nonetheless. Up first would have been Chandler Aquaviva, and Chandler is participating in a tennis match tonight, so that's why he's not able to be with us. But let's give a hand for Chandler. Landon Littleton. Second 
place in language arts, and I believe she's unable to be with us tonight, but it's Sandy Hoover. Third place in math, Anna Parker. Second place in woodworking, Jaden Peach. This next group of students they actually placed first place in Songfest. And so there's several that we'll recognize, but again, first place in Songfest. That's uh, pretty good. Kendall Addington. Cruz. 
Nancy Emery. Jude Hall. Jordan Fulton. Keely Henderson. Angela Ho. Angela, as she's coming up here, also finished first place in photography. Cameron Kennedy. Caroline Law. Skylar Loney. Sierra Midkiff. Lacey Minton. Kristen Mohan. <laughs> Layla Moore. Brooklyn Puckett. Presley Stewart. Sophia West. <laughs> Sophia also placed fifth place in recyclable arts. Can get a group photo. Finishing second at Western is Trigden Chin.
finishing first at Western, Charlie Saley. Finishing second there at the middle school is Brooklyn Doherty. is done. Thank you. 
Gracias.
this is uh, my third board meeting, but this is the first one, I guess, since officially now being named superintendent instead of interim superintendent. <clears throat> Just want to say that I'm uh, thankful for the opportunity, humbled uh, for the opportunity. I'm excited, looking forward to the challenge. We have a great district. We have a wonderful community. I believe that we have an outstanding school district and so much to be proud of and thankful for. And that starts with you all, so we appreciate you all very much. Uh, but our leadership that we have at the district level and as well as all the schools and the staff that we have in place, I think we're set up for great things in the future. And again, I'm thankful for the opportunity and I can assure you that uh, we'll always do things with the kids' best interest at heart. And again, I'm looking forward to the opportunity and challenge. So thank you very much. Thank you. I had time to look over your consent. I have a motion to approve the consent. I'll make the motion. We have a motion, we have a second. I'll second the motion. Any, any questions or any more discussion? All in favor? Okay. All right, new business. You have your personnel report. Of course, this is the uh, report for the month of February, and in the second column. We started the month with a beginning balance of $15,081,018.66. Our total revenues were $2,733,358.52, less our expenditures of $2,643,586.74, leaving an end of month general ledger balance of $15,170,790.44. Our Hilliard Lines investments on the market value, uh, the amount was $2,025,136.06, and the payout value, just a little bit above that, of $2,035,036.80. Our bank balance, we began the month with $15,518,115.86. Our deposits and other credits totaled $2,707,832.71. You can see our seek allotment, which is the same as it was last month, uh, but up over prior year. The state and federal grant proceeds totaled just under $343,000. Our food service federal reimbursement, $271,892.90. Our property taxes collected totaled $136,833.08. Utilities taxes collected through the revenue cabinet of um, 136,000, I'm sorry, I got off the line there. Property tax, 173,350.58, and utility taxes, 136,833.08. Motor vehicle, 68,732.33, and bank interest, 31,170.38. You can see the other smaller ones listed there. Um, and checks and other debits, total 2,561,590.80. Less our outstanding checks left an end of month reconcile balance again of fifteen million one hundred seventy thousand seven ninety forty four. So that's a little over one point eight million greater than last year at this point in time. page on the report just shows the the breakdown by fund showing the beginning receipts expenditures and ending balances and there again that end of month balance of 15 million one seventy seven ninety forty four is there any questions about anything on the report thank you all
Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Yeah. Motion approved treasurer's report. I'll make that motion. I have a motion and then a second. I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Motion carried. 2018-19 amended school calendar. This should be uh, on your Chromebooks there. Uh, the amended calendar. Uh, basically what we have proposed there, obviously we're out of school next week for spring break. Then when we get into the month of May, since none of our schools are a polling place any longer and it's not a presidential election we can go to school on election day so that's what i have proposed there and that would put us out with the students the last day of school on may 24th that's not eliminating any days that's going to school all 173 days that we had originally planned so it's not using any bank bank time uh, and we could go again, complete all of our 173 days and our students could get out on May 24th. And then we would just have uh, one day for staff to come in for closing day. Our question on Friday. Possibly that would be our next, that's the next agenda. I'll make a motion. All right, and motion approved. Uh, I'll second. Amended. School calendar. We have a motion and a second. All in favor? Graduation day. The graduation uh, ceremony date. The, the high school has asked that we consider May 24th. That would be that last day of school, that Friday evening. That's basically what they did last year on a Friday evening. And I think that went over really well. And they were able to have project graduation afterwards on a Friday night instead of everybody being out, you know, on Saturday night. Plus, I think that is also the time of year that there is a festival going on downtown in Beaverdam. Yeah. And I think they would love for us to consider having it on Friday night as well. Uh, so that would be my recommendation, but that's up to you all. But that, my recommendation would be to have it on Friday night, May 24th. The middle school would therefore be Thursday, the 23rd. What time did we do that last year? Uh, last year we did 7 o'clock, but uh, this year we were wanting to possibly do 6 o'clock. Uh, I know I had a daughter who graduated last year, uh, Mr. Southern, but uh, after the graduation ceremony, it's so late that you can't really do anything. So I was thinking if it was 6, it would be a quick turnaround, but the ceremony might be over around 8, and then we still have time to go do some things with the family before they come back to project graduation. That's what we were kind of thinking. All right, we have a recommendation from the superintendent. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Right, we have a motion for the 24, 6 o'clock. I'll second. Right, we have a motion and a second. All in favor? I have a question. Is there any way we can get a band on the stage behind us? <laughs> Dwight and I need a fan. Okay. Yeah, and then the flyers call. Uh, yeah, the flyers. Don't no flyers in the back. Yeah, you have flyers. Just change those that don't. We'll put them down there by carry. <laughs> and, and what about the one they smell? Uh, are you going to block smell. off the front here for handicap? Yes, yes, we're going to try to handicap all in the front. Okay. We'll the people out there and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Approved bids for uh, security entrance for Southern Elementary. All right, you have those bids in front of you. <clears throat> we actually did the bid opening today at 2 o'clock. Um, and if you're like me, when you see those figures on the bids, your eyeballs probably grew a little bit. I think RBS, when they set out this project, they had anticipated costing between forty to 50000 you can see that the bids were $89,585 and $83,071. That is a great deal higher than what was anticipated or projected. After talking with RBS this afternoon, there's concern as to some of the bids and talking with one of the contractors, the electricals portion of the bid was very high. I think around $30,000.
and RBS projects that it should really cost about $7,000 to do the electrical work. So they're wondering if there hasn't been some type of confusion that has occurred with the bid specs. So really tonight you have three options. And then I'll tell you after I tell you the three which one that I would recommend. Option one, really you have four options. Option one, <laughs> take the bids, award one of them tonight and move on. Option two, reject the bids for this project. And really you could have it to be would be that we enter into competitive negotiations with both of these contractors where basically what would take place, RBS would sit down with them and they'd go through all the numbers to try to make things better, to make sure that those figures are accurate, that they're correct, and if they are, consider and contemplate what could be removed from the project to bring the cost back down. And then we would relook at it again next month with the new figures. Or option three, I guess you'd say, would just be to say that the project's a no-go. My recommendation would be option two, A and B, that we reject the bids tonight as presented, but that we would enter into competitive negotiations with both Allied Contracting and O'Brien Contracting so that they can look at these numbers again, make sure that everybody's on the exact same page and understands the scope of the project, getting mechanical engineers involved once again as well, and RBS feels like these numbers will change. They were just as surprised as you are tonight in seeing these figures. Now, this was not what they were expecting. Uh, so my recommendation would be to reject the bids tonight <clears throat> and enter into competitive negotiations with both contractors so that we can see hopefully what this project could really cost us. And then once those proposals come back, we would look at them at the April meeting. I'll make a motion to take the superintendent's suggestion, reject the bids and go into it. Negotiations. I'll second it. All right, we have a motion and a second. One motion, or do we need to reject the bids and then? You can do it all in one motion. we will be fine. <coughs> all right, we have a, a motion and a second. I have a question. Yes, sir. Will there be any additional cost on b &A? No, all of that's already been negotiated in their fee. On whatever the project is, they get a percentage. All, right. all in favor? I have a question. Yes. Will we still be looking at the same timeline, do you think, if we were to approve it? Uh, it would still be during the summer, okay. yes. It just might be July as opposed to June. Right, okay. Well, maybe that should be part of the negotiation to make sure that they will know the deadline is before school starts, that early August. It, it can be. I just think there was... Okay. Sounds like there might be some confusion because even one of these contractors had kind of indicated that he he was subbing out part of this job, okay? Because they have a bigger project elsewhere, so he was going to be, be the general contractor and have these subs completed. He mentioned today that he was shocked at some of his subcontractors' bids, and he even wonders you know, do we make sure we're on the same page? But it was too late by the time he put the bid package together for him to go have those discussions. Yeah. Uh, so I think we need to let them have that opportunity yeah. to see if things can improve, because that is a lot more than we ever anticipated spending yeah, on that project. So we need a table number five, number and six. And six, yes sir, both of those. All right, I need a motion to table item number Number five, enter into contract with the general contract. I'll make that motion. All right. What are y'all made of? Bet made the motion. motion. Will, Will second. second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Motion carried. Item number six, I uh, need a motion to the table to revise BG1 for the Southern Project. I'll make that motion. I have a motion. Second. 
Right. Hall of Favor. <coughs> All right, we have a reason for closed session. Uh, yes, sir, we do. Personnel. All right, the motion going closed session for KRS 61.810. I make a motion. I have a motion. Second. All in favor. All right, we are now in closed session.